All right, guys, so we are going to go to Chicago, to King County. That is tomorrow. But since I'm driving past Sheboygan, I'm like always, I'm going to stop by Freak Toys just to see what they got. Check this out. So they had this, you know, like gentle giant jumbo figure prototype. That's pretty cool. I don't have one. Asking 200. We got this one. I have this one. This one is signed, but there's no COA. But that's still pretty cool. They're asking 300. Not bad for a sign. Kind of want the prototype, but I am going to King County, so I don't have that much to spend. As always, guys, I am not the richest, so I gotta spend my money wisely. <laughs> I'm in downtown Chicago. <sighs> Beautiful city. Traffic is crazy. <sighs> Spend a day here, and then after that, tomorrow morning, go to King County. Made it to King County. It's uh dark, cloudy, and raining like last time. All right, guys. So you guys couldn't make it to this show today, July 28th in Chicago. They have some more coming up here. So you guys want to give this a pause? I said go for it, and maybe I see you guys down here for the next one. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to make it to this one, but then I got bored and I decided to come anyways. I don't have that much funding to spend, but it's always cool just to come and see toys, man. I can't say no to that, but if I see something I really like, it's worth it, I, I'll go broke for it. So it looks like they only have it in two buildings. It's not as big as the last show when C2E2 was running. So I believe it's in this building only, and that building. I believe so, I could be wrong. But we're gonna go walk around, check it out anyways. I just saw these at Freak Toys, the Caveman Turtles, and now I'm seeing them here at King County. These are very cool. I really wanted to add it to my collection. And they're priced out pretty good here. I think one of them was like 70, the other one was 75. Not bad price at all. But I have to keep my option open. If I don't buy anything, of course I'd be coming back for them. Now those 3D printed Pokemon cartridges of the vintage style is pretty cool. Seven. 
Hey, check out that skyline. I actually have one at home. My wife bought me one for Valentine's a while back when I saw it at Target. It was very cool. And this is unbelievable. I didn't even know they made toy of Dragon Ball Evolution. By, by the way, you guys, please don't hate me, but I have to say it's not the best movie that was ever made of Dragon Ball. Honestly, I thought it would be better or at least be decent, but... By far one of the worst movie I've seen. It was still pretty cool just to see of action figure, but so I had to get it. Open to all price on this? How much? Just asking ten, I believe. Yeah, like five. I can do five. <laughs> now getting this for five dollars is not bad at all. Couldn't complain. Still very funny figure. I think it's cool just to have it in my collection to talk shit about it. But I still enjoy Dragon Ball, so I'm taking that home. To be honest, guys, I really came to King County just to record a video and see cool toys. I was not looking to really spend any money unless something really caught my attention. I wasn't even going to come to King County. But my brother-in-law talked me into it, so I came. And honestly, I'm glad he talked me into it because I picked up some amazing stuff here. You guys just gotta have to wait and see. But I do enjoy King County. They always have so many cool stuff to look at. Everything's always so overwhelming. But I feel like I have to come now every single day when they run a show because it seems like I always find something. Is that the only one you guys have? Yeah, he's one of a kind. The chat, the, uh, what do you call it? The chat skeletons are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. This booth have a lot of Transformers. I thought it was pretty cool. Some of them I've seen, some of them I really haven't seen. But I don't collect Transformers as much as I thought I would. I only have like three of them in my collection personally but maybe eventually i add more later on in the future but it was always good to see some pretty cool transformers So this is a pretty cool anime action figure, it's even signed by the picture. The PV here is really cool, it's just too creepy for me to really add it into my collection. <coughs> just kidding, overall I love PV. I loved the show when I was a kid growing up, but that doll is just something else. I really don't like dummies. See some loose turtles? Great. Eight dollars. Oh. Bro, that Raphael is dope. It looks cool. And then in a Nintendo 64 in a box. That's not bad too. Check out these vintage Star Wars. 450. And this guy got some pretty cool stuff in his boots. Whoever made this is a damn artist. This is pretty cool. Kind of wish they made the face a little more terrifying, but overall, I think it's a cool piece. I'd love to have it in my house one day. That's pretty cool. Very scary. Hi. Good, how are you guys? Perfect, thank you. 
<laughs> so upsetting that I saw this one. I wish I'd have seen it sooner or a lot earlier. I bought mine for almost 400. This one was 350. Probably could have lowered it to 300. Honestly, I couldn't tell if it was real or not. I didn't really took the time into looking at it because I already have two. I have the real one and the fake one. I wanted to add another one, but I don't have the extra money just to spend like that. I love to army build a Fin Fin Foom. That'd be very cool. But maybe next time. Now that's a pretty cool transformer. I don't know too much about it, but I did like the way it looked. I also wanted this Hulk here. I was looking to add a Hulk to my collection, but maybe one day. It's not really drawing me in to add one. Now these Pokeballs are nostalgia to me. I believe these are the Burger King Pokeballs with the Pokemon inside, which is cool because he have Pokemon inside. And I do find a lot of these Pokeballs, but they don't have the Pokemon inside, so it's cool to see that these do. I kind of regret not picking up the Butterfree one. I should have picked it up, but at the moment, I don't know what I was thinking. I just decided not to. Now, this Game Boy Color Pokemon, that's very cool. Not something I see too much of. So here's a cool story. A long time ago, when my dad took me to Burger King to buy this for me and my brother, the Pokeball, so back then when you went to Burger King to go buy the toys, Pokeball, you get them like this. They're sealed, you don't know what's inside. And you take it, you open them up, you get a Pokeball, you open up the Pokeball, and you will get a Pokemon. And when I opened mine, I got a purple ball with Mew in it. So I didn't think about it till now, but now I really want one. And it sucks because this guy actually had it up here on the right corner. I didn't even notice it. Pokemon. Uh-oh. Now inside every Burger King Big Kids meal you buy, your kids not only get more of the great tasting food they love, they get Pokemon toys and limited edition trading cards from Pokemon the first movie. Pokemon and the Burger King Big Kids meal. Come and catch them all. Got some more shows coming up, guys. In October. Damn, check out those vintage street sharks. Now, those are very cool. Four heroes fighting to stop Dr. Piranoid and his evil creation from taking over the world. I kind of want them, but damn, I do not have that kind of money. This guy has some pretty cool vintage stuff. You can always fix that through. And as you can see, that's just how it's packaged, so it's curved. You can iron that out. Trust me, I've done it before. As long as it doesn't have the crease. So there's no crease. 35? No crease. Got the Police Academy. Also got some very cool Toxic Crusaders, which I can't afford, but still very cool to see. And check this booth out. Got a lot of mythics here. It's a very nice one. Look at that Monkey King mythic. Only when I was looking for it, I would never find it. Until I'm not, and I will. And I already got one, so sucks. I got some very cool He-Man figures up here. These are cool. I didn't even bother asking for the price, because I know already. This guy was really cool. The Blue Dragon Mythic here. I'm not really much into the Mythic Legion, but they do have some very cool design characters that I do really want. 
Yeah, I'm trying, I said, I'm trying to take out the weapons. So I've got all the different weapon packs they have. Uh, I think the only problem is the one that has the sword that you want. Is there another 3D showing for Deadpool available in the next two hours? There is? Okay, I'm going to go back and watch it again. We're in price condition. That's a piece I want. Forward laser. Fry cannons. Mandibles. Omni lasers. Proton cannons. Buzzsaw omni lasers. Broadside rockets. Tri laser. Quest star. Kulos by Tormeko. The evil Rulons are tired of playing games. You are finished, Quest star. They want the Dino Riders' time key. Your brother eats flies, Krulo. The greatest battle in the history of the universe is about to begin. Tyrannosaurus Rex and Diplodocus with motorized walking action and Monoclonius, each with figures in battle gear. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. The show book? Yes. How much are Afghans that dino right up there? Six bells. Six bells. Yeah, it's got all the parts though too complete. In the, box. In the bag. No oh, box cover. Oh, that would be like fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah. Found one? Yeah, Damn, so he wanted six bills for that. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but honestly, I've been looking one on eBay, and they've been asking for more for some of them that are not even complete. The one he had was complete. It had everything and all the parts. It's still sealed in that bubble plastic, which is really nice. Not easy to find one still sealed with everything on it and one that still works. So, I have a lot to think about. I do have the funds if I really want it, but there's still more others toys here that I have to check out before I truly hop on this deal because if I hop on it that's pretty much all my funds so I'm gonna keep looking around so we are in the next building Got a bunch of wrestlers here. <laughs> Let's check out some of the three six skill Star Wars vintage Kenner figure carded. I mainly have all that I can afford at once. But it never hurt to look to see if anything else draws me in. I did see that bubble fat over here. I don't think I have that one. I have the retro one. But I don't think I have that one. So I was debating if I really want to get that one. But most of these that I want, I already have. I could be wrong, but that might be the Canon alien figure. That Here's another gorgeous piece I've been meaning to add to my collection. Every time I see one, they're always broken right there. 135 is not bad. I should have picked it up, but shoot, I was still thinking about that Dino Rider, so I couldn't pick it up this time. But hopefully, my next time I come back, I might be able to. And what do you know? Here's another fame fame boom. I wonder how much this one is. 300? Bro, that's a deal. I bought mine for 400. The other guy I saw earlier was asking 350. I couldn't tell if it's the legit one or the knockoff one, but either way, it looks great. And would love to army build a Fing Fing Foom one day, but that's just not in the future for me, at least for my wallet. Hey man, black lady. Hey man, black lady. 
Star Wars Episode 1. Oh, look at that. Check out the Go Go Gadget. 20 bucks. Not bad for 20. <laughs> there was a guy who has a CPU. There is, you can actually set it to back up. Like when you're in the world, it's one thing. Oh, the code. Amigo, te meto en 420. Todo original. Tú pidiendo su cosa. This book got a lot of cool stuff. Tienes que ir a la cara, a Good, how are you doing? Good, good. Good day for a show. Oh, yeah. It's like the sun's peeking out, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know how much was it? Hey, Charles. Yeah. This gentleman right here. Daddy, oh. come I can do seven. Seven hundred. Now, I'm the, I'm the vintage. But are 40. That's why they got the two dollars. I asked him nine, but I want to let it go. Seven hundred, you can take it. Hey, uh, how much is the cave woman turtles ninja? Yeah, uh, four hundred. Four hundred? Yeah. Brand new here. Yeah. Uh, remember, uh, we talked about the. Yeah. This is the silver pan. Um, I sold the gold around. So, so last show, I got the black uh, blood mosquitoes. Uh, black blood, that one is the red uh, underwood. Those are only between like four or five hundred made. Knockups like the sun. Oh, David. Look at him. Another John Mox. So we have him. So we're good. Oh, okay. No, I know, I know. Oh, Green Ranger, too quick. Alright, so that was uh, for the first building. I'm going to the second building over here, and I think that that might be it. I'm not sure. I don't know if these over here have more toys in them. I don't think so. So let's see what's in the second building. It's got a bunch of Disney stuff. 
you know, a lot of people over there in the quite a few years and they see my booth and they say the same thing. They're like, man, you see my stuff. What's your zip code? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a mask. Yeah, full head mask. Yeah. You're so cool. How much are you guys asking the toy soldiers? Uh, the, uh, the bucket of soldiers? Oh, you're talking about the small soldiers? Yeah, small soldiers. Nah, the small soldiers. Sorry. So, the two on the outside, the Archer Chip, that is the second series. I'll do. I was asking 180, I'll do 160, your choice. And the one in the center is first series. I'll, I had 235, I'll do 200 on chip. Those are those are tough. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. How much was 10 last time? Not bad. 160? For one of the Archer or Chip? I'll probably take Chip. missing anything? What's that? Is this one complete or missing anything? So this is all 3D printed. Oh, okay. Yep. Holy crap. Yeah, it's all, everything moves. Fully articulation. Does he shoot anything? It looks like no. he's a... Yeah. It's just... Does he go to it? Yeah. Wow. He's about, about four foot long. Like I say, everything moves and locks in place or you can move him. Okay. Probably cool. 40 hours, 50 hours on the work that thing. Holy crap. Yeah. You printed it yourself? Yeah, I got oh. a buddy that does it. Wow. He also did the uh, White Tiger Zord for me, which I already sold. Oh, wow. So, yeah. yeah. You guys got wiggle room on him, or are you kind of firm at 100? We got a little bit. How much do you want to come down? I do 85. Like 85? Yeah. That's cool. Alright. Uh, let me go around. I might come back. One of the coolest things I've seen so far. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Man, that serpent tail was freaking cool looking. That is 3D printed, but guys, it's freaking huge. And I'm really digging it. I really want it. But I'm going to keep looking because I like to keep my option open before I start to buy. If it's sold by the time I come back, well, it wasn't meant to be then. A lesson for you guys is if you guys are tight on a budget, just kind of keep your eyes open. Don't hop on anything yet until you guys go thoroughly go through everything. And then at the end, if you realize that there's nothing else you really want, then you guys can go pick up what you guys need. So I truly 
won two things so far in this King County show, which is the Dino Rider T-Rex complete without the outer box. And now I want that Serpentier Zoid. And that guy is very cool. 3D printed, not bad. It is missing his tongue, but overall, still a really cool figure. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I want here, but those two are my, my, my high wants at the moment. So this booth was pretty cool. He had some vintage Dino Avengers, or otherwise known as Street Sharks, Dino Extreme Dinosaurs. I'm sorry, Extreme Dinosaurs. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Kind of too pricey for me to pick up loose figure at the moment since I still have those two main ones that I want to get. So I'm holding off unless I find something truly calling my name to add it to my collection. No, this is not good. I remember this book. This guy. I still want this guy. He's freaking huge. This guy do really cool customs. The bow is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, turns out, I might buy that dinosaur, T-Rex, Dino Rider, but I'm going to have to see if you take PayPal. I have a question about your Dino Rider, so, would you do 500 for it? Yeah, do six. six. If you do six, would you do PayPal and cash? Zelle? No, I can do. What do you have? Uh, I have PayPal only, really. I don't have Zelle. Yeah, five. What five bills? Cash? What would you be? Uh, I need the cash. You need the cash? Yeah. All right, so I guess I'm going to the ATM because the one here don't work. So I gotta travel out to go get some cash to give it to the guy so I can get my Donald right here. We'll be back. <laughs> A few hours later. Alright, so I went to get my moolah. I'm back. I don't think it'll be gone. But you never know. But hopefully, it, it'll still be there. After I buy it, I'm pretty much done. Do you know what that is? I didn't even notice this. I just came back and I saw it. Man, 1200? That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm back again. You're my favorite person. Just thought I'd let you know. Uh, it's okay, you bring it down for me to just to look at it? So is it something in your collection for the longest time? I had it for a, a while, but not for when I was a kid. That's for sure. I never had any of them. I wanted them though. So this part here, this part here. Oh, those not even broken down yet. This and the rare rubber bands. Oh. Minty. And then these two bags sealed. Wow. How'd you acquire this? I got got it uh, like four or five years ago. It's buying trade. Well, it was worth it, man. Yeah, I really liked it. The guy had some more. He had that big brontosaurus too. Oh my God, really? And you tested it. You say it worked. One hundred percent. Yep. Tested you it. Took the battery. That's it. And I put it back in there just to say I. You left I the battery gonna... out, right? What's that? You left the battery out, right? Battery's out. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yep. Oh man, God damn it. You don't have a big enough bank to even put this in, do you? It won't even fit in that thing, dude. Um, you can, are you buying it? Oh yeah, man. Okay. Alright. Um, I, I want to make you take it down if I did. No, that's cool, yeah. Um, I don't know what to do on that. Do you have uh, your car? You can walk it out, or you want to come back and pick it up? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's I'll leave just it with put you. Put it back and put sold on it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we'll leave it with you. I'll come back. Well, do you want? Thank you, guys. I appreciate real it. Piece, bro. Yo, it's beautiful, man. All right, here's his yeah. stuff here. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, man. I appreciate you, dude. Yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah, too. no problem. Thank you. Enjoy that. I'll be back. Thank you. Yep.
I just bought, I just bought one of my holy grails. I've been waiting for so long. That's $600. So happy that I was able to pick this up. This is a freaking amazing find. For $600, I personally can't complain. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, but well worth it for me. Every penny. So everything was pretty much is sealed. I mean, even this. With the figures, every time I see one, is always missing this plastic. And this one have the plastic to hold the figures in place. I still have the rubber band. These are all still sealed in the plastic back there, too. Have all the parts right here. Got the T-Rex. I also tested it, and it does walk. Still works. I kept it sealed. I wrapped it up in plastic to protect it. And it's, it's an amazing piece, guys. I... I was literally shaking that because I can't believe I purchased it. Can't believe I found one for a good deal and in better condition. The only thing sucks that is missing the outer box and the manual, which is fine. I maybe one day never gonna find those again. Who knows? Or maybe I buy another one so I can replace this and put the box in it. Put the box on it, not in it. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, but I'm satisfied with just this alone. Honestly. So so we go to the back. This is where I put all the other pieces. See, as you guys can tell, they're still sealed in the little baggies. I also have a picture of them here for you guys so you guys can see. And then, so it's a cool piece. I can't complain for 600 Honestly, it's only because I was going to buy one that doesn't have any of this been open and displayed. And some parts are broken or missing. And I was going to pay more than 600 for it. So I was very happy I was able to get this piece. Alright, so I purchased it. I give them the cash. He's holding it for me. And all I gotta do is just remember to come back for it. But for the meantime, I'm gonna keep looking around. I might just find something else. I don't know. You never know. So I wanna give another look around. Because I might have missed something. I'm not sure. Like I say, guys, anytime you go out hunting, it doesn't hurt to check three, four times. Because. In an area like this when it's just so much toys, you miss out a lot of stuff when you're not really looking. So always check at least three times. I know I do. I'm not sure about you guys. But if you do, let me know in the comment. Because I feel a little left out thinking now maybe it's just me. Yeah, those are 
look pretty cool. Four thousand. Oh yeah. That's my kind of stuff right That's something you see every day. How much are you guys asking on the doll? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. Would you take 60 or what's the lowest? It could be 75 on it if you want. Do it even 70? No, I will. 70? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy that show. That's the end of it. I was able to bring this sexy beast home. Just look at it. Just look how huge he is from the head. All the way to the tail. Like compared to my He-Man and the Battle Cat. This guy is a giant. He's so beastly looking. I just couldn't. I just couldn't say no to it. When I saw it. After I picked up the Dino Rider. I saw it again. And I just had to work another deal out. So I'm glad I was able to get this for 70 bucks. It's such an amazing piece. It is 3D printed. And I don't think I find another one in the wild. I don't I'm not sure if I will, but you never know. But if I do, it's an awesome piece. Gotta go get it. I don't know if I pay too high or too low for it, but I knew I pay what I wanted to pay for it. So that's what I was willing to pay for it. Seventy dollars can't go wrong. I'm in love with this figure. It's a sexy beast. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but I'll keep saying it. Sexy beast, sexy beast, sexy beast. <coughs> Just look at this guy. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for the show. I hope you guys enjoy that hunt. I, I apologize again. I don't know why, but I watched the video. And it kind of sucks, honestly. I don't know why you guys keep watching me. But I do appreciate you guys that do keep watching. It means a lot to me. I promise someday I'll get even better. <clears throat> promise. Just stick with me. And, you know, if you guys are new to my channel, hey, man, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys making it this far. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I very much appreciate that. It will help me a lot. All the love and support that all my recent subscribers now that are giving me. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the subscribes. Thank you for all the support. You guys are the best. I wish I could do more for you guys. And I'm going to try. And I'm going to keep trying to do more for you guys. Honestly, I'm running out of stores to really hunt in Wisconsin so um, I might travel a little bit more out to start hunting other toy stores because there's still so much more to see out there and I'm sure there's still so much so much more very cool toys for me to add to my collection my collection is just going to keep growing alright I'm going to end the video here I'll get